Amen, somebody. Amen. You have to enjoy yourself. Yes, so. Come on up. Are you sitting there? Are you sitting there? Praise God. Are you here? Somebody likes to try everything else. No way else than I say, yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Touch it, Master. Name of Jesus. Sweet body. Come on, oh, say, Name of Jesus. Sweet. Jesus, sweet. Jesus, sweet. Him, sweet. Him, sweet. Him, nice. Him, nice. Him, nice. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go. I want, I want to speak to a church of God. Tonight, praise God from the book of Romans. Very short. This, this is predominantly a message, um, especially to our new converts, to our young people who have decided that uh, they want to give Jesus a try and by hands they would have received their water baptism tonight. I want to speak to us tonight from the book of Romans and the eighth chapter. Romans, praise God, and the 8th chapter. This is Paul's writing to the Roman church. Praise God. Uh, it is a very powerful writing, amen. And some theologians would have theorized that Romans would have been, praise God, probably, possibly, one of Paul's most pointed messages to the church. Amen. In other epistles, there are letters that he writes, praise God, addressing specifics, addressing issues, the epistles, the other 13 books that Paul would have written in the New Testament. Now, the book of Romans, a lot of theologians would have it, praise God, that this is one of the more pervasive writings that he has done. The eighth chapter. I know you've been dancing, praise God. But just join me. Just for, I'm just going to read a few verses. Just stand up here real quick. I know you've been dancing. Most of us would have been tired. But just join with me tonight as I read from the book of Romans and the eighth chapter. It says, There is a therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 5 for they are they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be kind and minded is what is what? Yes. Dead. Yes. But to be spiritually minded. Yes. To be spiritually minded is what? Yes. Not only life, yes. but peace. Yes. Because the carnal mind yes. is enemy yes. against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So that they that are, up are in the flesh, Cannot please God. Church of God, you hear that? You hear that? I'm a pastor next to that. They that are after the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. But in the spirit. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. Get him. come on, say him, get him the spirit. Not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be, watch this now, that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, Jesus Christ, 
Somebody said the word. Somebody said the word. Love Jesus because when we tell people these things, Brother Michael, people think that it's past the conjure something because they want people to feel bad. But Jesus Christ, it is right here in the book of Romans, go repeat to God. It says, listen to the church of God, verse 9, one more time. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be, that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of God, he is not of his. You are off your father, devil, and he's lost. You will do. I will say that. Somebody say get in the book. Somebody say get in the book. If you don't have the spirit of God, you are none of his. Praise God. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Slap your name of blessed God before you take a seat. And tell the Nepa, get in the spirit. Say, Nepa, everything you need is in the spirit. Come on, somebody. Say, Nepa, get me. You may have your seat tonight, praise God. Get in the spirit. Some person would have asked, I'm sure, by now, Pastor, what does it mean to be in the spirit? What does it mean to walk in the spirit and not to fulfill the lust of the flesh? Does walking in the spirit mean walking with my eyes closed? No. Oh. Does walking in the spirit means walking without having any direction or purpose? Oh no, oh no. Walking in the spirit simply connotes a walking in the leadership, the dictates, praise God. Walking in the purpose of God. When God says walk in the spirit, it means, praise God, walking in the faith that I have called you to. The Bible says he has called us with a heavenly calling. I want to talk to us especially from verse 5. Because it speaks to us in no uncertain terms. It speaks to us, church of God, very blunt and straightforward. And if I don't move tonight, don't worry. I've been doing it all morning. I'm a bit tired, praise God. It says to us, church, for they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh. See, when the Bible talks about the flesh, I want us to understand that it is not referring to your body, your skin. Amen, somebody. It is not necessarily referring to your skin, but it talks about flesh. Flesh means negative mindset. Flesh means the systems of the world. Amen, somebody. The way how the world operates is fleshy. And so God is saying, when you come to him, you are not expected, praise God, to operate like you're operating before. Because even if you come to him and your mode of apparatus doesn't change, then God says to us, you can't please him.
stretching out in us and by hence leading and directing us to become more right. like Him. Amen. Church of God, this is what I want us to understand. If you come to God with any other motive other than to please Him and by hence being like Him, then you would have wasted your time. If you come to God because you want to sing on the choir or you want to preach, praise God, all those are byproducts. But the real Christian will stand up in his corner and say, God, I don't come from nothing. I come because I love you. I come because I want you. I come because I need you. Lord, you never give me a miracle. If you never give me a husband, if you never give me a wife, if you never tell me. where people have all kind of misconstrued ideology about Christianity and everybody now wants to come but they don't want to come except there are certain things being prepared first and which God you want to which God you want to God is a giver of all good things as the Bible says but church of God what Christians fail to understand is that God Checks the heart. Because your motives can look so pure and genuine on the outside. But in your heart, that is a part of us that nobody else sees or knows except you. But church of God, what we need to understand is that out of the heart flows the issues of life. I hear so everything there. Hello, somebody. Hello. Praise God. This is where it is. And so now you come to God and you realize that before you came to Him, praise God, you had malice. Amen. Somebody had all kind of bitterness, all kind of lust, all kind of mischievousness. But you understand that more you come to Him, praise God. Any man that is in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. The things I used to do, I do them no more. The places I used to go, I go them no more. You cannot talk about your Christian. And I try not try no And I buy no pine no When you come to God, you've got to recognize that you're unpicked. And you're yeah, a preacher here. They can feel it tonight. You're absolutely You're the ordinary. The Bible says you're peculiar. You're Holy in the Ashana, truth the generation, you can a Christian, and I don't feel like the Papa Possa. They did come Jesus of mercy. You're a preacher here tonight. You can't see a Christian. And everyone in that kind of thing now, you did it. When a Christian breaks call, you're set apart. You're supposed to be different. You're supposed to talk to you. That there is something about this person. Peter, James, and John never have to tell nobody that they're a Christian in this corner. The Bible said they looked at them and realized that these men have been with Jesus. Why? I don't believe it was because the garments were different. Because they had to kiss Jesus in order to identify him. So in other words, everybody looked alike. Hello? But the Bible said, the way these men talk, Church of God, one of the things that hurts me the most is to talk to some Christian and all the hear come out of the mouth of flesh. Jesus Christ, let me go behind the podium and preach. 
Glory be to God because some people don't want to like me tonight. But somebody said, preach, black man. Somebody said, preach, black man. I'm doing the best that I can. Oh, glory be to God. You've got to recognize that Christians and all of the ordinary people can I preach in here tonight. You've got to recognize that Christians are set apart people. Christians, glory be to God. Can't mean everything with the word in that. Sometimes all you want to be in that. For the Spirit of God who brings conviction, the church will appear. Yes, yes, yes. There are multiplied thousands of persons who don't want to be Christian. You know why? You know why? Because of me. Oh God Almighty. So we talk the talk. So we sit on the right table. Oh glory be. You don't want to preach like this tonight. Somebody lose me, let me preach. We talk on the right but we action the right. You can't say I'm Christian. I still don't hold your man. And I'm mighty. You can't say I'm Christian. I feel like you can't hold my man. They go home, they jump with the rope. Oh, for the beat of God. They go and tell the boy, yes, try to fucking with God. Yes, they don't know me, they don't know me, you see. Touch him until they get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. Church of God. The Bible alludes to Christians as being the body of Christ. See, for me personally, that isn't the simple call. To be called the body of Christ. Church. Know ye not that ye are the temple. This is here tonight, and that the Spirit of God it dwells within you. You can't plead with the Spirit of God. It's either you're in or you're out. You can't work for fear and work for doubt. I came to tell somebody, God is depending on you to make it. We are going like you can't pop style from God. You can't pop the style from God. You put a brain except God. Church, when we say we become Christians, Church of God, we have to dash you some things. All some things that we love dearly. Church of God, can I testify? I want to hear my testimony more than I told you. I'm not afraid to talk. I'm not afraid to talk. Every time I talk to somebody, Church of God, I had things in my life that I held dear to me. One girl in particular, if you never know she more, if you don't know me. But most importantly, I would not be saved today. Because here I am preaching us for 12 years after. And where is she? What's she there? In Tinome, a party that lived up on a body where we here. Praise God, the last time I saw her, glory be to God. She had been six on that I'm ready here. Oh, glory be to God. You need a little love, glory be to God. I want the whole cook. Come on, somebody, you need to come be a cop on your face. You pray God in the way of the sun. Amen, somebody. Oh, glory be to God. Let the one God praise God. Amen, somebody, when I have to let her go. Touch him, I say, let it go. Say, let it go. If it's more than a little girl, please, God, let it go. If the girl has to come around, please, God. From pleasing God, let go. But at the end of the day, praise God. Nothing else will matter. You don't want me to preach like this, but I'm not preaching. Church, I remember a few brothers came to Jesus. I fight over one pretty girl. And I said, Lord, why? 
Adam left. Let me take him off. That one let take him off. That one let take him off. As you hand out the generation. When you go to heaven, I will life should not be. You know, I talk to the preacher. Somebody put up the prayer say, Come on, somebody, lift your hand over your son, God, I pray. Open the feet to God. Lift your hand and give us prayers. Well, how wise is it right there? When we get to heaven, go repeat to God. The Bible said that Jesus is going to need to worry about that. But at the end of the day, you know how to do that in a heaven. Open the feet to God. What a glory that will be. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I tell people all the time, don't worry. church family, but at the end of the day, the harsh reality is, every tongue, Jesus Christ, church, we love what I'm talking every day, everybody will go past the lane, no sign of church I know because say that, anyone will go to the church, we love what but church of God, pastor can't save you. The choir can't see you. Preaching can't see you. Can I preach for that? Singing can't see you. Husband can't see you. Wife can't see you. Best friend can't see you. Come on, somebody. But have your faith to Jesus for the cleansing blood. I wash in the blood of the Lamb. I have come and spotless. I hope that's no I finished preaching. Stand to your feet tonight. Glory to God. I finished preaching. I don't know how I'm going to read these two verses. And I get out of here. It says the carnal man, the flesh man, church of God. Sometimes soon I'm going to preach on the mind. And I want Christians to hear this, this message. Says the carnal mind is enemy with God. Enemy. Two of them can't read in a single pen. You see that your mind righteous and God then cleansed. Are we bloody? That's all the carnal mind is. A dirty, smutty, worldly mind. It is thinking like the mind, like the world thinks. So the world said, you box your box your box. The world said, that's how they get that's what's not here. Come on. The world said, you kill my family, this man, if you are not dead. Hello? Hello? Come on, somebody. The world says one thing, but what does God say? Because the thing about God's way is that it totally contradicts the world. Come on, somebody. And that's why the Jews miss him. Because his ways contradict the world's ways. So the world of me says, praise God, and box and box and box, I said, don't turn this side. Hello? The world said, if you shut your box, you'll give back one, and love that one. But Jesus came. And he said, if you can box upon one, she turn the next one. Jesus Christ. If you ask him to walk a mile, go two miles. If you ask him for your cool, Give me the overcoat too. Come on, touch him and say, but that's not easy. Say, but that's not easy. Church. 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 No wonder one of the disciples present are increased with it. Increased with it. Because that's not easy. Love your enemies. Bless them. Look, all these things God will have said to us. Why? Because his ways are different from the world's ways. Well, you know what about God's ways? His ways are perfect. Perfect. Church of God, when you come to God, let me say, let me say something. And I'm going to say this unapologetically, unequivocally. When you come to God, your options are taken away. Now, you still have a choice. You can choose.
to praise Him or you can choose to do whatever you want to do. But your options, when you come to God, it's either His way or no way. No two ways about it. And Jesus made the bond that declared that if you're going to come to me, there is one, one way. There is no escaping it. It's either God's ways or the ways of the devil. Choose ye this day who will serve. If God be God, serve him. If Baal be Baal, serve him. As for me and my house, Church of God, I said, as for me and my house, we have all God praise. We have a serve the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Church of God, especially to my young converts. Everything in the world is to pull you back from God. There is absolutely, and I say this as an absolute, there is absolutely nothing in the world that is conducive to your Christian mobility. Nothing. For all that is in the world is the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life. Nothing else. Everything that is in the world came to lure you away from God. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, Church of God, I want to encourage you guys. Do not love the world. No. All the things that are in the world. Praise God. Because the Bible says to be carnal and minded is dead. Yes. But to be spiritual and minded is life and peace. How many of us want peace? How many of us want peace? I found no greater peace. That do it God's will and His way. Amen, somebody. Amen. I sleep best at night when I know that I'm pleasing God. Amen, Amen church of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah, somebody give God a praise. Come on, church. Give God a praise. Come on, hallelujah. Grab somebody's hand. Grab somebody's hand tonight. Squeeze them in. Squeeze them in. I want you to look to that person, look them in the face, and tell them, say, neighbor, I want to make it. I want to make it. I want you to make it. I want you to make it. Help me. Help me. While I help you. While I help you. One more time, say, neighbor. Neighbor. I want to make it. I want you to make it. I want you to make it. Help me. Help me. As I help you. Praise God. Come on, somebody clap your hands in. Hallelujah. You see, it's because God loves you all. God is depending on everybody to make it. As it's not His will for no man to perish, but that all shall prosper. And He can help me in His soul prosper. Come on, lift your hands. I'm going to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we have come to you in our imperfect state. Master, we don't have everything figured out. We, most times, don't have everything together. But we thank you for your grace and your mercy. I pray, O oh great Jehovah, that you would touch tonight every single person in this audience. Bless them. Help them to be better Christians. I believe they're trying. We all are trying. As Paul says, we have forgotten those things which are behind and we're pressing to our hearts. Sometimes there are bumps and bruises in the road. But Father, I pray that even when the roughest of times come, help us to be consistent. Help us to keep moving forward. Help us, mighty God, to keep our eyes on you. Because the moment Peter took his eyes off, he began to sink. Father, touch the hearts of your people. You see the desires of the hearts. Grant every desire tonight, God. For you said if we delight ourselves in you, you will grant us the desires of our hearts. Bless your people, multiply tonight. Father, we pray in the matchless name of Jesus that you will open doors for 